Philadelphia during a concert that they were both performing at. Things just haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. It appears that there are others who share our frustration with Offset's constant cheating on Cardi. I mean, it is a full-time job since Cardi's family is sick of him, especially her mother. Who wants to be married to a man like Offset, who cheats on Cardi every few business days? I am not even kidding when I tell you all that I'm paying attention to this drama. Cardi has consistently boasted about her close relationship with her family, how much they love each other and all the other adorable family traits. However, she has also stated unequivocally that Offset is the genuine love of her life and that she has no intention of ever leaving him. You all speak of a mess. Will Cardi ever leave Offset or will she choose to prioritize his infidelity over her family? Was it true that he had given her an STD? Let us dissect this drama in detail. Given that they have been pleading with Cardi's mother to split from Offset for over four years, the majority of fans are on her side. Offset, nevertheless, just cannot keep it in his trousers, which means Cardi will look awful in front of the entire globe. Again, he seems to like pursuing talkative women who are unable to control their talking about their affair. And they cannot wait to drag Cardi's nose in the mud by revealing the affair. The absurd thing about it all, though, is that people are starting to piece things together. They now think that Offset supposedly used a love bombing tactic to ingratiate himself with Cardi from the beginning. For instance, Offset secured them the greatest seats in the stadium for their very first date, which took place during the 2017 Super Bowl. You may assume that Offset began cheating after they were married, but that is not the case. It was before they were married that the man started flinging that thing around town. Recall how, on October 17th, 2000, in Philadelphia, while they were both performing at a performance, he proposed to her? <laughs> it was very cute, but rumors have it that Offset only asked her to marry him as an act of contrition after he had cheated on her a few weeks earlier. He was merely attempting to win her back by making the proposal, even though he knew she truly wanted to get married. Up until then, their relationship had not been as publicly visible as it was with the proposal. Offset made the proposal because he wanted to make a significant statement. To put it succinctly, he stated that the proposal was made in an attempt to be romantic, while other reports indicate that he was aware that she would not reject him if he made it known. Talk about dubious, given that her daughter was getting married to a cheater. What did Cardi's mom think of this proposal? The marriage was not exactly supported by Cardi's mom, it turns out. She told Cardi about her worries. Cardi and Offa, however, had already been married in a hurried shotgun ceremony. At that point, there was really nothing that anyone could do about it. Additionally, it appears that Cardi was not entirely confident in the union since she kept it a secret until TMZ obtained a copy of their marriage license, at which point she attacked the couple in an essay. I cherish some moments more than others, and there are a lot of them that I wish to keep to myself. One such moment was getting married. We needed to grow up a lot because our relationship was so young and we kept breaking up and then making up. However, we still had feelings for one another and did not want a part. We made the decision to get married when we woke up one September morning. We found someone and she agreed to wed us. It includes my cousin and the two of us. And I replied, I do without a ring, makeup or dress. What is this comment about the notes app? On the other hand, you may tell that someone was under pressure when they make a statement using a notes app. Fans thought it strange that she was so upset about the invasion of privacy, even though it makes sense that she would be offended. She seemed to be trying to conceal the fact that she knew Offset would cheat on her once more. And you know what? She was correct. Offset gained the moniker Off to Cheat instead of Offset because of his greater willingness to cheat on Cardi as a married man. And because Cardi persisted in sticking by her lover, rumors have it that Cardi's mom was really upset about this. But in 2018, not long after giving birth to their daughter, Culture, she made her departure from Offset Known. Things just haven't been working out between us for a long time. And it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. She made no mention of Offset cheating on her or anything like, but we could tell right away that Offset had cheated once more. His side story emerged, shocking everyone by revealing that she had been having an affair with Offset. When Cardi learned, she was so heartbroken 
that she made the immediate decision to separate from him and file for divorce. I have my mental offset since he's had his baby. Um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't like, I, it took until today to actually like get into this, um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like, um, I took Cardi B's nigga or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel um, ashamed. Um, you are not implying that she was unaware of the seriousness of their marriage. Like, come on, gal. However, Offset attempted to hold Cardi's fans accountable for forcing her to file for divorce from him, rather than accepting accountability for his deeds or pulling up his big boy pants and owning up to his faults. You guys won by leaving comments on the post. Subsequently, he was criticized for his boldness by many, with one individual claiming that Offset has been unfaithful for the entire year. When Cardi B eventually broke up with him, he said, you all won. To which someone else replied, Offset, you won like we are the reason he cheated 47 times. A few days later, Offset tweeted, F y'all in an attempt to woo Cardi back. Cardi is missed. He included us in it once more and attempted to make it look like it was our fault. Additionally, he expressed his desire for her return in this video. That's to get my, my wife back. You all recall how I mentioned before that he used to adore Bomb Cardi? He chose to use a love bomb to get her to accept him back. So, in front of over 60,000 people, he interrupted her rolling loud performance to implore her to take him back. That was really deceptive, yet it seemed to work because she gave him back. However, things became really bad in 2020, and Cardi filed for divorce from Offset once more. She said that the marriage was hashtag broken and that there was no chance of repair, according to the court records. In addition, she insisted that Offset give Culture primary custody and pay her child maintenance. However, after the second incident, many believed that Cardi had reached her breaking point and would be permanently splitting from him. To everyone's astonishment and dismay, however, Cardi did not even try to act like she was serious about the divorce, when just a few weeks after filing, she began hanging out with Offset. Additionally, based on the footage we viewed, they were not hanging together as friends or ex-partners because they appeared a little too close. <laughs> Cardi is quite careless. Offset did not like it though, despite the fact that she gave him chance after chance and took him back. And because others were making fun of her for all of his affairs, he kept cheating on her, which caused her a great deal of shame. Upon participating, Tasha Kay made it evident that she was still resentful of Cardi for the almost $4 million she owes her. Drop your views in comments and subscribe the channel.